everybody. Welcome back. This is Excel Video 287. I'm Nate Moore. I just sent off the slides and other supporting information for some presentations I'm doing for the Radiology Business Management Association at their Fall Educational Conference. It's in the Phoenix area in October. If I haven't spoken to your specialty organization lately, I'd love to. What we're going to do today is move on past the label filters we talked about last time to value filters. Remember, label filters are looking at what's in the row labels or in the column labels. What the value filters are going to look at is this amount field here. Anything that's in the values area over here that shows up here in your pivot table, you can access with the value filters. And what it will let you do is it'll do equals, doesn't equal, greater than, less than, between, not between, top 10, some of those kind of things. Let me show you some examples. So if you wanted to say, I want to see all the referring physicians who have sent less than, let's say, $300,000 worth of business in the past year, what we can do is we'll do less than, and it says for some of the amount, less than, and here's all the different choices here, but we'll just do less than 300,000 and click OK. And what Excel will do is go down and now we're looking at the values. We're not worried about what the labels say. We're looking at the values and say we're going to bring back all of the values that are less than 300,000. If we've got 159, that's less, 81, that's less, and there it is. And notice how if I hover over this filter, the value filters in or in order are the referring position, the sum of the amount has to be less than 300,000. So here's some of the amount that's less than 300,000. You could do a label filter greater than, or let's do a between. If we wanted everything between 300,000 and 600,000 in collections from referring physicians, there they are. See how fast and easy that is? We're not focused here on the, the text anymore. We're focused solely on the amount. So if you want to find the big ones or the small ones, folks that have sent you a lot of business or that haven't sent you a lot of business, months that have a lot of collections or don't, or you're looking for some clinical data, you're looking for a measure that's between this amount and that amount, you can easily put those in your pivot table and filter down and say, these are the ones I need to focus on. And that's all about value filters. You can do any combination of, these are numerical kind of things because they're based on values, and you can do any one of these simply by picking the value filter and clearing it off and doing it again. That's how a value filter works. And if you want to check the box, you can check a box like that or just select multiple items and do a manual filter there or there. If you want to filter based on the type of data you're looking at over here, the, the, the row labels or the column labels, use a label filter. If you want to look at the values, use a value filter. There's a special kind of value filter called top 10. We'll play with that next time. Thanks for watching.